This brand new Cessna Maya Island aircraft touching down may look like a part of its regular fleet, but it's not. This aircraft is valued over 3 million U.S. dollars. That's because it will not be transporting passengers, but it will be out doing invaluable survey to capture important data for decision making. So this customized aircraft is fitted with high-tech leader system called light detection and ranging. It is a sensing method that uses light in the form of laser to map land and seafloor. One of the most important pieces of data that we lack, particularly dealing with the coastal development and coastal communities, is what we call nearshore bathymetry. That tells you what the depth of the sea is from your shore. And on shore topography, that's the elevation. Uh, now, the nearshore bathymetry is important because when a hurricane comes, the storm surge that you get depends very much on the configuration of your seafloor and the depth. So we are now, with this equipment, able to look, feed this information, this new information, into the storm surge models that we use that would show that if you have a Category 2 hurricane and a storm surge, which areas along your coast will be affected. So it can act as an early warning system to tell people to get out of the way. This piece of technology comes at a critical time when the region is in need of more accurate data as the need to provide evidence of climate change impacts has grown. I must stress that incorporating this airborne LiDAR system into our regional arsenal is a game-changing moment for the Caribbean community. For us to adapt, we require information about the nature of climate risks. The collection of climate-related data is especially important in the case of Caribbean states, since we are highly sensitive to changes in the climate and to sea level rise, and are experiencing the most severe effects of climate change sooner than most other countries. This light detection and ranging system, which was acquired through the USAID's three-year CCAP project, is the only one of its kind in the region. Now that the Caribbean Community Climate Change Center owns the system, it will allow them to do more work without a high cost. And so the later system will be used across the region and it will help to generate revenues for the five Cs. We can make a baseline and then return at different periods to see what changes have taken place in your ocean floor, in your shoreline uh, configuration, yeah. So it's a very important, and, and uh, the thing about it is that we have access to it, but at what price? We couldn't afford it. And what happens is that countries contract uh, consultants from overseas with the equipment to do it, they collect the raw data, do the processing, and give you the outputs. The data doesn't remain here. And if you need that data again, you have to pay again. And it's high, very, very expensive. And we figure that having this, we can get countries to have access to this technology at about one-tenth of the price they have to pay for it at this point in time. So you can also make a revenue from this? Well, it's our center uh, receives no subventions from governments. So we have to earn or keep. So this is, uh, we anticipate that is going to be a revenue stream for the center. The Airborne Leader System is a significant achievement for data capture in the Caribbean and will be supported by local partner Maya Island Air. Maya's contribution is the aviation expertise in terms of bringing online a factory new Cessna 206 aircraft, providing flight crew and the maintenance support to continue uh, the program as it reaches beyond Belize's shores. The lighter will be used for agriculture mapping as well as to do surveys of mangrove ecosystems. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.